How's it going guys? I'm Soul Survivor 610 coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Retro 13 CP3 Aways. So I actually have two pairs of these shoes, one I beat, one I keep dead stock. This is the dead stock pair. We'll just get into the box. So it's just an all black box. Nothing really special. You have your golden jump man right there on the top. Your golden 23 along with the sizing and everything like that. The price was ripped off for these. Pretty sure that this is back when Jordan was charging around 190 for a pair. Not as bad as today where they're charging I think 210, 220 for most retros. But then again, not as good as when they were charging 160. So now we'll get into the shoes. Here they are. Um, the paper's all white with gold 23s. I really like what Jordan was doing when they were releasing um, the CP 313s and the Mellow 13s and stuff like that. They were taking like PEs that I had seen on Instagram and stuff years ago. And they were only player exclusives. They were kind of just forgotten in the archives of sneakerheads. And just randomly, Jordan just started pulling them all out. And Chris Paul has some of the craziest like PE colorways I've ever seen. But I'm so happy that they release these. And I'm even happier that they release these in Hornets colorways because like the throwback Hornets with like the gold, the blue, and the black jerseys, or like the all yellow jerseys, or like the all blue, they were so sick. I thought that their colorways and jerseys were probably one of the top three in the NBA at the time. So I was super happy to get these. And I think I might've had a third pair at one time, but I remember I just paid resale immediately for these. I had to get them. Starting like all my other videos, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick review, then I'll give you guys an on-foot look, and then I'll wrap it up. And to start the review, we will talk about the outsole. So the outsole is black and yellow, where it's all black traction pods throughout the bottom with yellow kind of just snaking its way through. And then obviously you have your carbon fiber right there along with your cat's eye on the bottom. It's not the same cat's eye on top. This one, um, you can actually like push in a little bit, um, but it's very cool. And then the outsole even wraps around to the side of the shoe. So you have, again, it's like the same traction as the bottom where you have the black traction pods wrapped all the way around the shoe. I really love the contrast that they did with the team colors. I like that they didn't overdo it with the yellow because yellow can be a very loud color, but they found a way to tone it down by putting it on the bottom of the shoe and just on the logo. And I think that was perfect. So now we will go up and we'll talk a little bit about the midsole. The midsole is a very interesting material because it's, you know, give, it's kind of squishy. It gives away a little bit like all Retro 13 midsoles do. So that's telling me that there's some sort of like foam material underneath, I'm assuming. But on the top, it's a, like a suede that wraps all the way around. And it's a nice suede, but one of the big um, issues I've had with these 13s is it picks up just dirt and grime very, very easily. And you have to brush it a lot or clean it a lot because it just sticks. But you're kind of just dealing with it because the shoe itself is very, very cool. Um, I'm always a big fan of like short suede shoes. I love the way it feels when you rub your finger back and forth and obviously the colorway I had to get it. Not to mention, I think even though 13s aren't the coolest silhouettes, they get some of the best colorways that any Jordan gets. I think like every single Jordan 13 colorway is ridiculous and they should start putting it on retro, just other retros, but that's besides the point. So now we'll go up and just because it's the same material, we'll talk about the back panel and then like the heel tab. So right here on the inside, you have a big hit of that like short hair suede. It feels very nice and you can even make like designs on it because there's so much of it. And then when we put it over to the other side, a little bit less, but again, the same material and it wraps all the way to the back of the heel tab and even up until the inside where the top of the ankle is. So there are definitely a lot of places on this shoe that can get dirty and scuff. Like these I would consider to be pretty much dead stock. I've only put them on my feet for this, you know, on foot, but somehow there's already like some very small dirt marks on the midsole that I remember getting on the pair that I wear. So that's why I keep these in a box, dead stock, dead stock. So now we'll move up to the mid panels that are mesh. 
the mid panels that are mesh, they're all black and they all have these like white dots um, kind of just scattered throughout. And then just to separate the mid panels from the rest, it's just this very thick black, I don't want to call it stitching because it's not, but it's almost like somebody just took like the material that a rope shoelace is, like the Retro 11 rope laces. It's almost like someone took that and just cemented it all around the uh, 3M hits just to like separate it from the rest of the shoe, like the suede and the leather and everything else. Um, speaking about the leather, we'll move on to that, which is on your toe cap and it runs all the way up your tongue. So it is a tumbled leather, but it is not a buttery tumbled leather. It's more of a firm, not tumbled leather, even though technically it is. So you can see the creases and everything like that, but doesn't really give way too much. Um, it's going to crease a lot. I have a pair. I can tell you that it creases a lot, but that's kind of just a problem that comes with Retro 13s. Retro 13s have always creased poorly for me. They never really wear well. The eyes always fog up and it just bugs me. But like I said, they have the best colorways, so I always bite the bullet and get a pair. Moving up to the tongue, again, all uh, black leather, but because there is a little bit of like cushioning behind it on the inside of the tongue, it feels a lot nicer. Um, I love that yellow and blue Jordan stitch hit right there at the toe. It's super, super nice. And then you move up and you have your golden CP3 logo. CP3's logo is actually pretty cool. Um, again, the perfect spot to put the yellow hits. And lastly, I think we'll talk about the cat's eye on the side. I still have the tape over it that came with the box and everything when it was dead stock I'm probably not going to take it off because I think when you take it off that's when it just starts to oxify uh, whatever deoxify just it starts to just turn very cloudy and murky and you can't really see it so I will leave the sticker on but there is the retro 13 cat's eye for this pair all right guys so that is the end of the review um, I'm gonna give you guys an on foot look and then I'll just go ahead and wrap up the video for you Light this bitch up. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed to the end, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Every little thing you guys do helps me on my road to being monetized because I just want to get money from YouTube to buy shoes to give you more videos. So it's it's a win-win. I'm in Italy right now, so these videos are pre-recorded. I'm trying to edit them and get them out to you as fast as I can, but bear with me. And when I come back, I'll have even more content for you. And as always, thank you guys for watching.